good. You know, Missy, to tell the truth, I ain't exactly crazy about going to that airport. Why, Hazel, what's the matter? Oh, I don't know. There's something about Mr. Baxter's sister that rubs me the wrong way. On the phone this morning, I just had to force myself to be pleasant. Well, Deidre isn't the most diplomatic person in the world. Oh, none of Mr. Baxter's family is. You know, the way they look at you, like you had a smudge on your nose. Except Mr. Baxter, of course. I should hope so. And now, we got one of them moving right in here with us. And her snippety teenage daughter. Now, Hazel, you're not being fair. You're judging a girl you haven't seen in, in six years. Well, maybe. But I know them society high school girls. They're the worst. Was I so bad when I was in high school? Oh, no, Missy. The most fun I ever had in my life was when you were a teenager. Oh, there was dances, parties, dates almost every night. Seemed like we was doing something almost every night. Yes. And, and you told the boys to get me home by midnight? And that meant in the house, not on the porch. <laughs> and then I'd come out to your room afterwards and tell you all about it. Oh, yeah, it was better than the movie magazine. Oh, remember how we used to sit up until almost 2 o'clock in the morning talking about all the things you'd been doing? Oh, we had a ball when you was a teenager. What time does that plane get in? 10.30, flight 721. Well, maybe I'll pick them up. I kind of like to hear them jets swooshing in anyway. <laughs> Well, Mr. B had one of those big deals he's always working on. And Mrs. B had to go to a PTA meeting. She had a treasurer's report to read. I helped her with it myself. <laughs> well, let's get our things in the car and oh, get out of here. Sure thing, Mrs. Thompson. Well, you must be Nancy. Yes, and you're Hazel. Turned into a real pretty girl. You must have to fight the boys off with a stick. Oh, for heaven's sake. I don't know many boys. I've been going to a girl's school. Well, we have to do something about that. <laughs> Pretty girl like you's got to have boys around, right, Mrs. T? <laughs> Not Mrs. T, if you please, Mrs. Thompson. Oh, excuse me. And Nancy hasn't got to have boys around her at all. Not unless they're the right kind of boys. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Now, if you don't mind getting in the car, I'll drive you home. The PTA meeting will be over. And Mrs. B will... Oh, she don't mind me calling her Mrs. B. We like things kind of easy and friendly. I prefer Mrs. Thompson. Yes, Miss Thompson. Now, Miss Thompson, if you'll get Call in... Call me Nancy. What I got here is one Boston bean and one human bean. <laughs> Well, it would be just common decency for you to age a oh. little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Deirdre. You look perfectly marvelous. And Nancy, why, she's quite a young lady. Thank you. She's a child. Mother, I'm 18. Of course you are, sweet. So immature for her age. Well, Nancy, how was your flight? It was very nice. It was terrible. One of those annoyingly efficient stewardesses kept marching up and down the aisle, offering me magazines I'd already read. I was looking out the window. Isn't that naive? She kept trying to identify towns and rivers. Well, uh, why don't we go into the living room and sit down? We have a lot of catching up to do. Sweet, why don't you go upstairs and unpack or something, hmm? Say, well, Princess, I... how would you like me to help you unpack? And then maybe I could draw a bubble bath for you. How'd you like that? Sounds wonderful. Maybe Mrs. B will let us use some of her stuff. Of course, Hazel, anything. Wow. After you have your bath, you can use some of her dust and powder and a drop or two of perfume, you know? That French perfume's so strong, you can only use about a drop. <laughs> Mrs. B lent me some to wear at the last policeman's ball. Boy, I was driving them flat feet nearly out of their minds. <laughs> For heaven's sake. <laughs> Come on, Nancy. Oh, Hazel. Yeah? Tom called about ten minutes ago. Oh, I told him I wasn't going to bowl on his team. Well, he's persistent. He says he's coming over. Well, it won't do him no good. Come on, Princess. <laughs> on the way home from the airport, I thought that maid of yours would drive me out of my mind with her questions. <laughs> well, I hope she wasn't too personal. I'd hardly gotten into the car when she said she'd noticed I had a dry skin condition. Wanted to know what I was doing for it. <laughs> I'll speak to her, Deirdre. By the way, you must tell me the name of the face cream you use. Dorothy, you're...